Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tops here. Welcome back to another episode of my GT6 Project Drifting Series. Under this episode, I decided to feature this, the VW Beetle 1200. Now, this is a premium one, obviously, because then I can do stuff to it, like change body parts and wheels and paint job, and it just looks a lot better as a premium car. Also, this has like 10 more horsepower, you know, as standard. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is what it looks like once it's tuned, and it is... I think it is my favorite looking car in this game right now. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Um... The paint job is called Deep Orange Metallic, or Deep Burnt Orange Metallic, that's what it's called, actually. And uh, I chose these wheels because I like the way that they go in, but I didn't realize that they don't actually change color. It's just the inside of the rim that changes color, which is beautiful. I think the car looks absolutely gorgeous, and it is, right now, my favorite car in Gran Turismo 6, looks-wise. I think it just looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, now, let's get on to the setup. It has 181 brake horsepower and 694 kilos. Not really, you know, drift car material, but I still tried because you guys asked for it. Um, I only added the mid-range turbo because it is, um, it's, it actually gives a one more horsepower. And I know that one more horsepower isn't that much. But when you're actually driving around the car, it actually makes a difference and you'll be able to tell the difference anyway. Um, now, on the track, uh, what can I say about this? It... Obviously, it doesn't have the power to be a proper drift car, so, you know, you can rule that out. It is very light, however, so the power-to-weight ratio wasn't too bad. Uh, but when you take it out on the track, especially because it has really, really skinny wheels, uh, and because I have comfort hard tires on it, it actually slides alright. It slides pretty good. Um, if you go and take it out on a smaller track, smaller than even Scuba that I'm on now, um, you'll have absolutely no trouble drifting it. It is brilliant, but uh, on, for the bigger corners or for the longer corners, it, you're actually going to have a bit of trouble trying to get this to drift or even, you know, getting it sideways. Um, but uh, once you drive it around a few times and you actually get used to it, it's very easy to drive. Um, again, as I said, it doesn't have that huge amount of power that you can have with, uh, with drift cars, but... Um, once you get used to it, as I said, it just drives perfectly fine, and it's a, a very normal drift car. It's a, it's a car that I would definitely use again, because it's it's fun to drive. Um, also, with it, the way it looks, just a big bonus for me, because I absolutely love the way this thing looks. So, um, you know, seeing this out on the track and seeing it go sideways and whatever, uh, I think it just makes the car just, oh, it's just awesome. Um, but... Uh, it's uh, it's it was it wasn't a very difficult car to get to to drift. I was uh, I was messing around with the trans with the suspension quite a lot because uh, uh, the front was pulling off to one side a little bit because I don't know for, for some reason the front had uh, a bit more grip than my my usual drift cars. But uh, after messing around with the suspension, I try I got it pretty much just right, uh, and I think the suspension setup that I have right now on on, uh, on this Beetle I think is just perfect. It's dead on. Um, uh, maybe some tweaks if you guys have any of your tweaks, you know, you can do to your cars to make them drift the way you want to But for me, this thing drives absolutely perfectly. So uh, that's really cool Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video If you have any suggestions for any cars for future episodes, leave them down in the comments below And uh, if you're about to leave a comment for another car, uh, make sure you've watched or even seen the titles for the previous episodes Which I have entered uh, a list of, uh, well, I've pretty much just posted the link to the playlist of all the GT6 Project Drifting episodes, which you guys can watch before you comment, so you don't comment any of the cars that I've already done before. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.